Hello and welcome to the video. In this I will show you some features and image quality samples from this Lamax V9.1 action cam, which is a waterproof mid-range action cam. And it comes supplied with many accessories, for example a remote control, a waterproof case which, is, which makes it waterproof up to 40 meters deep. This cam is also waterproof in itself, so without the case you can dive with it up to 10 meters without anything. Actually, Lamax is a Czech brand name, but this one looks very similar to the Keylead K80 webcam, which you can get in AliExpress. It looks quite the same, just these small design features differ here. This is a mid-range cam. It costs around 150 euros. So, let's talk about the quality it offers. It offers... Uh, Full HD up to 60 frames per second or 4K 30 frames per second. I made my test shots in full HD with 60 frames. Now I will show you some shots with original sound because the microphone is located here in that small hole on the camera and as soon as you have wind coming from the front or from the top you have very strong wind noise. You will hear that in the paragliding shot when I look up the wind noise is not that bad, it's bad but not that bad. And as soon as I look down, or at the mountain bike shot too, where the wind is coming from the front, the wind noise is very strong. Paragliding shot was without image stabilization because there is no vibration at the paraglider and the mountain bike shot was with activated image stabilization which makes the field of view much smaller. Also but you can see that the stabilization is not very smooth, it's quite jittery so it stands still and then it jitters a little so I don't know, I don't really like it. Also with underwater shots the sound is quite unusable because you either have wind noise when you are out of the water or you have just a very deep sound with a very high volume when you are in the water with the thing. So not very usable. As for the field of view, I have made a test shot the same spot with image stabilization and one without image stabilization. So you can compare the field of view in the both shots. Another interesting feature which I find quite good is the barrel distortion correction of this cam. Wide angle lenses often have the problem that they that they cause a very strong barrel distortion and as you see in this test shot this camera can correct it quite well, again from the same spot as the shots before. One mechanical issue I have found with this is that after you submerge it in water, all these parts which, which you can open to remove, uh, here for example is, is the USB slot, are very hard to open after it was in water. Maybe the sound quality would be better if, it, if I put it in the waterproof case, because then the microphone wouldn't get direct wind into it, but I didn't try that. You have seen in the test shots before that the, the video quality is not bad actually. 
it is quite okay it is not top level not like a gopro 9 or something like that but it's for the price range is quite okay i guess there is one issue however which i but i don't like about the images that they are quite uh, jittery or nervous that they if you look at the image they appear more nervous than they than it should be the images are not smooth and this is because the very excessive over sharpening of the images you can see in this still shot from from one of the videos that all the edges are over sharpened this you see and the, the dark side there is always a dark line and on the light side there is a white line of the edges this makes the image look more sharp but this also makes the image more more uh, noisy not really noisy it's 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 just it's more nervous it looks nervous i i don't find a better word for it you can see this, see this nervous effect when you film waves on the sea that the waves are uh, are much more sharper than in real life and this shouldn't be i don't like that so all in all this cam is not really a professional camera but it's suitable for home usage for for kids or something like that as long as you don't need the sound if you need good sound at high speed then this isn't what you need maybe putting on this waterproof case helps i will try it later but i didn't try it and without that the wind noise is the only thing you hear at the end of the video i will include again the test shots so you can see them so please like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions thanks for watching bye bye